great! Now you're finished cutting the pieces. Next, you will be welding the pieces together. Make sure you are using appropriate tools and take steps to protect your eyes and your skin. First, you will weld the interior mold together. Start by lining up the top interior side pieces with the narrow ends pointed up. These pieces come from the 3mm thick steel plate. There should be no gaps between the pieces. You can use the bottom inside plate to make sure the pieces are square. Once the top interior side pieces are lined up, use temporary tack welds to keep them together. Next, tack weld the bottom inside plate to the top interior side plates. Once all the pieces are together, you can finish the welds. Make sure to weld all the way from one end of the edge to the other end. Here's a tip. To make the process easier, you can weld two top interior side pieces together, followed by the other two. Next, weld these two L-shaped pieces together. Here's another tip. If you're having trouble keeping the interior mold box in a square shape, you can weld braces across each piece on the inside of the box. It may be useful to build jigs to keep the plate square while you are welding. Next, you will be welding the bottom interior side pieces together. Be careful! This step is the most important of the whole process. It is really important to make sure the pieces are lined up properly or the concrete walls of the biosand filter will not be the same. This will make the filter much more likely to fail. Make sure you line up the bottom interior side pieces properly, then tack them together. Check to make sure they are square, then weld them together. Once the bottom interior box is completed, Weld it together with the top interior box. First, slide the top interior box inside the bottom interior box. Next, tack weld the boxes together on the inside of the box. Finish the welds all the way around the inside. Here's a tip. Make sure you do the welding on the inside of the box since you will need a sharp edge on the outside of the box to make the ledge for the diffuser plate. Once the pieces are welded together, grind the edges until they are smooth. This will keep them from breaking the concrete when you remove the interior mold from the finished filter. The instruction booklet tells you to weld four pieces of square tubing and one nut onto the interior mold base at this point. You can do this now or at the end. Emmanuel and Montoki decided to do this part at the end, so that's when we'll show it. Steps 10 and 11 are to put together the exterior mold. Take a piece of angle iron 305 mm long. Weld a 57 mm long piece of square tubing to the center of the angle iron. Weld angle iron onto three sides of the front exterior panel. Use the piece with the square tubing along the top of the front exterior panel. Next, cut a hole for the nose in the front exterior panel. Be very careful to follow the guidelines in the Biosan Filter Mold Manual. Take your time to get this step right. Next, you need to weld the nose onto the front exterior panel. 
Emmanuel and Montoki are welding the nose from the outside, but it may be better to do this from the inside if you can. If you are welding from the inside, make sure you grind the weld smooth, otherwise you will have cracks in your filter. Here's a tip. Notice that the nose pieces don't touch the front exterior panel at right angles. Make sure your nose piece looks like this one. Weld a 13 mm nut onto one of the remaining pieces of square tubing. This nut is for the bolt that will keep the nose piece in place. Weld the square tubing with the nut onto the front exterior panel. Now that you are done the front exterior panel, let's move on to the back and sides. For the side panels, weld a 57 mm piece of square tubing onto a 387 mm piece of angle iron. Then weld this to the side panel, which is also 387 mm wide. This step must be done twice, once for the left side and once for the right side. Weld a 57 mm piece of square tubing onto a 305 mm piece of angle iron. Then weld it to the back panel. This is exactly the same as the front panel. Now you can stand the back and side panels together and weld them. Be very careful to make sure that the panels meet at right angles. Start by tack welding them then make sure they are square. Once you're sure, you can stitch weld the pieces together. We're almost done! We told you earlier that Emmanuel and Montoki decided to do step 9 at this point. You can do it this way too if you want. Here they are welding four pieces of 89 mm angle bars and one 25 mm nut onto the base plate. Here's a tip. You can use square tubing instead of angle bars in this step. If you've used 3 mm steel plate instead of 6 mm steel plate for the base plate, you can make it stronger by adding longer square tubing or angle bars across the base. Now you are ready to finish drilling holes in the exterior part of the mold. First, clamp the front exterior panel to the back and sides and clamp the base plate to the rest. Now, wherever there is a hole in the angle iron, drill a hole through the sheet metal as well. If you only mark the holes in step 4, now is the time to drill them all the way through. The next step is to weld the interior mold base to the base plate. Start by bolting the back and sides of the exterior mold to the base plate. Next, put the interior mold inside the box. After that, bolt the front exterior plate to the sides, but leave a hole so you can see the interior mold and base plate. Make sure you have the interior mold lined up, then tack weld the interior mold to the base plate. Now you can take off the exterior mold and finish welding the interior mold to the base plate. Here's a tip. Make sure you put a little mark showing which side of the base plate is at the front. You don't want to put the interior mold in backwards. Once you have welded the interior mold to the base plate, sand the welds until they are smooth. Here's another tip. When you're sanding the welds, make sure you don't put a dent in the inner mold with the sander. If you do, then it will fill with wet concrete and will make it impossible to remove the inner mold from your finished biosand filter. Now you are ready to make the extractor. Weld two pieces of 175 mm long square tubing to one 387 mm piece of square tubing in a cross. Take the extractor support piece and weld it to the cross you just made. 
Make sure you line up the holes on the extractor support piece and the cross. Once you've done that, the next step is to weld the four 152mm long steel tubing pieces to the arms of the cross. Here's a tip. Make sure the smooth tubing pieces line up with the notches in the base plate before you try welding them. These tubing pieces help pry the interior mold out of your finished biosand filter. Next, weld a piece of round rod to the end of the 25mm threaded rod. This is the bolt which will be used to remove the interior mold from the exterior mold once your concrete has dried. You should also weld a piece of round rod to the 13mm threaded rod which is used to keep the nose cover in place. That's it! We've reached the end! You have now built a Biosand filter mold. Congratulations! Here's some final tips. Make sure to grind down any welds that are on the inside of the mold. If there are any sharp edges touching the concrete, it will make the concrete weaker and more likely to break. Don't paint the inside of the mold because it makes it hard to remove the finished Biosand filter. Do paint the outside of the mold to protect it from rust. Use a rust proof paint if you have some. It will make the mold last longer. Each mold you make will be unique as it is made by hand, so the pieces are not interchangeable between Biosand filter molds. Make sure you label all the pieces so that you don't get any mixed up with the other molds you have made. If you can, oil the mold before storing it so that it doesn't rust. Make sure to use oil that you can eat. Also, store the mold indoors if you can. Thanks for watching! It's been a pleasure being your guide. We hope you have found this video helpful. Make sure to contact COST if you have any further questions or if you want to get involved. Bye for now!